Hey, this is Jimmy. Who's this? Jimmy, this is actor, radio broadcaster, <laughs> podcast guest, <laughs> father, husband, dog concierge, <laughs> director, producer, and deep penetrating blue eye haver, Alec Baldwin. <laughs> oh, hi, Alec. Thanks for calling, buddy. You're welcome, as always. <laughs> What, well, what's new in your life, buddy? Well, I'm extremely busy to the mm. point where making this phone call now seems like an odd decision on my part. Busy with what, buddy? I'm happy to announce that production on my film Rust will be resuming in Montana this you, week. Oh, no. You're joking. Do I sound like I'm joking? <laughs> this is the same movie where you know where... Yes, yes, where <laughs> that happened. Oh, my God. And you're just picking up where you left off like nothing happened? Far from it, my bellicose friend. Mm. <laughs> After a year and a half of investigation, legal wrangling, undisclosed settlements, and various other fucking headaches, <laughs> we have decided to move forward. And it was not a decision that I nor anyone else took lightly. I see. I assume that there are going to be even tighter safety measures on the set this time around then? What? <laughs> you heard me. That's insane, Alec. Why not? Why the hell not? Jimmy, let me ask you a question. If you survived a plane crash in a commercial airliner, would you be afraid to fly commercial again? Yes, of course. I'd be <laughs> terrified, probably. That's because you were a fool. <laughs> the chances in this day and age of being in a plane crash are minuscule. Almost absurdly so. But the chances of being in more than one plane crash, absolutely infinitesimal, essentially impossible. By the same token, the chances of a second deadly incident on the same <laughs> film production is mathematically inconceivable. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> Jimmy, Rust is now statistically the safest film set in the history of cinema. <laughs> Jeez. Probability doesn't lie. There's a glittering metropolis in the Nevada desert that proves it. And we are going to take full advantage of this situation. How so? Not only will the ammunition depot be open to all cast and crew, <laughs> Roman candle fights are encouraged. <laughs> Alec, no! The gunshed will have an open bar. Oh my and god. And on the wall will be a giant world map with each country labeled with the preferred racial or ethnic slur for its population. <laughs> This is insane. Jimmy, this is the time to take chances. What? <laughs> <laughs> Our horses will not be provided by licensed Hollywood animal wranglers. We will go out and procure them ourselves. Uh, this is Montana after all. Wild stallions abound. You're going to break your own horses? Jimmy, we are making a Western <laughs> about a time and place where there were no rules. Oh, God. For the first time in cinematic history, we can make a film on a set where there are no rules, just like the old West itself. <sighs> Statistics will protect us. This movie, this <laughs> rust, will be the first true Western. Alex, this is crazy. I'm begging you not to do this. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> we have already built a whorehouse on set and hired actual <laughs> prostitutes who are currently living there. All sex scenes will be unsimulated, show full penetration without protection. <laughs> Alec, that's gross. Well, let's see what our friend Oscar has to say about that. <laughs> Imagine, Jimmy, the scope and intensity of it, the truth, the grit, and the story of the movie itself, our little production going from unimaginable tragedy to triumph, with a vision and commitment to realism rivaling that of Coppola, David Lean, Cecil B. DeMille, and now amongst that pantheon, Alec Baldwin. <laughs> 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 your premise here is false alec based on what you're describing people are definitely going to die and get injured or at least get chlamydia on the contrary jimmy the prostitutes have been purposely infected with gonorrhea a more period appropriate venereal disease <laughs> jesus realism is key i can't believe i'm saying this alec but i'm tempted to alert the authorities all our permits are filed and approved with our location clearly marked. However, any attempt at an on-set inspection will lead them to a dummy set we have constructed. <laughs> that is approximately 50 miles away. It cannot be stopped. 
Adobe's. <laughs> well, I guess there's nothing I can do then. You gave up on you gave up on that rather quickly, and I appreciate it. <laughs> I guess I have to admit, I'm sort of looking forward to seeing this movie when it comes out. Jimmy, it's going to be a banger, as the kids say. Oh. Unfortunately, I have to go. <laughs> We're expecting a large shipment of dynamite from an international arms dealer. These crates have been stored improperly for 30 years, but it's the best we can do. Being shielded by statistics and probability has allowed us to cut down on production costs and make up for lost revenue during our hiatus. <laughs> Being shielded by statistics. <laughs> How clever, Alec. <laughs> and then onto our first scene where I, Alec Baldwin, have hand to hand combat with a wild grizzly bear. Or hand to claw, I suppose. I'm so excited. The point is, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Au revoir, James. Uh, we're telling jokes in Nashville, Honolulu, Los Angeles, Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, Cohoes, New York, Hartford, Connecticut, Baltimore, Chicago, Rosemont, San Diego, and more. Go to JimmyDoor.com to see, get a link for all those tickets. Plus, you can watch my new special, COVID Lies Are Funny. <laughs> <laughs>